Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Kelvin from BlackSunComics.com and today I'm going to show you how to import .obj files into Death Studio and construct things with them. Stay tuned. <laughs> Recently I've gotten a lot of requests for tutorial videos, so thanks to everyone who left their requests in the comments section below. Uh, some shout outs go to Riverboat and me connect days implement. I hope I pronounced that correctly. They're leaving some great information in the comments, especially in regards to the last video about transferring Morse between different versions of uh, Genesis. So I'll include a link. You can check out that video and read the comments there. Shout out goes to Lamard Winkster who left all sorts of praises for the tutorial videos that I've been making. He also has a link to a really cool animation which I'll leave in the video description below so you can check that out. Um, but on to the topic at hand, I'm going to show you a picture here. And this is the alien mothership that I designed and it appears in my graphic novel Black Sun The Longest Night. I get a lot of questions on how I made it. You know, people want to know what I did in order to create this monstrosity. And that's the process that I'm going to walk you through today. The process itself is very easy. It's not difficult at all, but it can take some time depending on how much you want to experiment and how, how focused you are on detail. So it's a simple process. It's just a matter of importing what's called .obj files, adjusting them. And when I say adjust, I mean adjusting the size, the scale and position, and then parenting them together. And I equate this to gluing things together. So gluing different 3D models together so that they form one new model. Now there were two packs of OBJ files that I used. And I picked these up on Renderosity. They were really cheap at the time. I think one was about five bucks. The other was normally sells for 12 bucks, but I got it on sale. It was probably worked out to about another five or seven bucks. So they're really cheap. So the first one, um, well, actually, they're both by the same vendor whose name is Poison. And he makes these really kind of scary, disturbing packs of OBJ files. And they came in perfectly for what I wanted to achieve. So I picked them up. So I got this black triad mask dash Z pack. And then I also got this mechanics uh, TC pack. And these are just, you know, a bunch of random OBJ files that I imported into Daz Studio in order to make my spaceship. So I'll walk through that process with you now. Okay, so I've imported my spaceship into Daz just so you can see. Uh, this is it here. I'll just kind of pan around so you can get a better look. It's really abstract. That was kind of the point. It's not really supposed to make sense aerodynamically. I just wanted it to look, I just wanted it to look like this. Can't really think of another way to describe it. So that's it here. And this is just a bunch of .obj files from the two packs that I mentioned before that I imported into DAZ and glued them together, AKA parent, in order to create uh, this configuration here. So I'll walk you through that process. So I have the .obj file saved in a folder. And the way to get them in is you go to the file menu. Let's get that out of the way. File. And then import. And now I just need to browse to the location where I happen to have mine. Uh, mechanics, there it is. And so this is one of the good things that I like about Finder is you can preview these OBJ files to see what it is that you're going to import. So I'm just going to choose one at random. Okay, so there's this thing, MX3 ring. So I'm going to open that. Actually, you know what I'll do? Let's get rid of this so I can show you from scratch. I'll delete that. Okay, so file, import. Uh, I have to search for it again. It's in my documents folder. 
atomic and 3D resources, OBJ. And what was it, the ring? Oh, not the same one that we had from before, but sure. Let's import this. So I'm going to hit open. And then this OBJ import options pops up. I usually just leave it at the default. If I click on it here, you see all these different uh, conversion settings. I guess if you're used to using some of these other programs, then this will mean more to you than it does to me. I just leave it at this. One unit equals one centimeter. I leave everything else on the default values that you see there and hit accept. And there it is. Just going to position my camera. Okay, so import. That's the first step. Very easy. The second step, I'll just select it in my scene here. The second step is adjust. So I like to use the parameters tab located here. I happen to have it on the left side of the screen. And here I can do all sorts of things. I can play with the X translation. So this is more so positioning. I can rotate it. All right, again, more options for positioning. I can scale it, make it bigger. This is what's really cool. I can scale it along the x-axis if I wanted to. Scale it along the y-axis if I wanted to. And along the z-axis if I wanted to. That looks kind of neat. Let's go with that. Yeah, I kind of like that. So I'm not actually going to build a whole new structure. I'm just showing you this process so that you understand what it is that you can do. So there's one file, and now let's uh, import another one. So I'm going to go back to File, Import. Looks like it remembered my location. What's this? Structure. Eh, kind of cool. Eh, see what else there is. Okay, that looks interesting. I'll import that. So same deal, I'll just leave it at the default and accept. Oh, hard to see, but there it is, right there. So I'll scale that up. I'll make that really large. Let's see, let's go to front view. And I'll just move this over just to kind of center it. Let's go back to the wide camera that I created. Yeah, it's looking kind of neat. Let's see what else I can do. So I'll select this. Let's move it along the Z scale a bit. And let's move it down. And maybe in here some. That's an interesting shape. So really this is just a process of discovering happy accidents. So let's say, for argument's sake, I was happy with this. Now, what I want to be able to do is kind of attach these two together. All right, so if I go to my scene tab, I have this structure and this ring. The ring is the first thing that I imported. So I'm going to select this, you know, the structure. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to change the parent. And the parent will be the ring. Actually, I'll show you why I'm doing this. Let's cancel this. So right now, if I have the structure selected, I can move that. And it moves independently 
of the the ring and i don't want that i want to be able to move the whole thing at once so that's why i'm parenting the two together so once i have it selected i'm going to right click on it change parent i'm going to select mx3 ring one and accept and now if i move well, actually let's see If I move this one, okay, then they both move. The only trick is I have to have this selected. All right, and I can rotate it. I can scale the whole thing. Right, so you get the idea. And then if I want, I can even go in and, and texture these as well. But I, I'm not going to walk through that process. And that's basically it. That's all I did to create the spaceship that you, you saw. I just imported a whole bunch of different .obj files, kind of positioned them, stretched them, scaled them, positioned them to get it looking the way that I wanted. And after that, I parented them all together. And now what I can do is file export and I'll just save this to my desktop uh, let's do test let's call it test save that dot obj uh, let's see I'll leave this at uh, the Daz studio default you know one unit equals one centimeter and hit accept and it saves it out Cool. So now if I do a new instance of DAS and file import, and I'll go to my desktop, and there's a test OBJ that I did. And there you go. So that's basically the process. So that's everything for now. If you haven't done so already, please visit blacksuncomics.com where you can download a free preview of my graphic novel, Black Sun, The Longest Night. It was illustrated entirely using Photoshop and Daz Studio with the techniques that I describe on this channel. If you like what you saw, please click like and subscribe. Be sure to check out some of the other tutorial videos on this channel. And until next time, take care. Peace.